quick video about a table. If you happen to be looking for a demonstration table for your videos, or a nice sturdy workbench, this video may help. If not, you can watch anyway, just don't accuse me of wasting your time. I've been on the lookout for a demonstration table in my little basic filmmaker studio here. It had to be about hip high so I didn't have to bend over. It had to have nice wheels so I could wheel it in a frame when I need it and back out of the way when I didn't. It had to be sturdy and not shake as I move things on it. It had to have a nice looking top, not white or black, so when I film a top view, the items I'm showing don't get lost because of the color. I didn't want a top that was steel or foam core or something that is noisy when you move things around on it. I thought wood would probably be the most durable and workable. I also wanted drawers in this thing so I could store miscellaneous items that I use for doing these episodes. I finally saw this and ordered it on a chance. I figured if it didn't work out, I could always use it in my garage as a workbench. When I got it, it was freaking heavy. It's a hundred pound package and I have Amazon Prime, so the shipping was free. I gathered all the parts, put it together, and filmed it in case you decide you want one of these. But first, two pieces of advice. One, read the simple directions before you start. And two, read the simple directions as you put it together and don't lose your place. Let me show you. And here I am, I attach the brackets to one of the legs, both sides. There's four of those. Get all the screws in, tighten them down. Do the same to the second. I tighten all these to the bottom of this massive piece of wood. Next I come in and make sure they're all secure. I always, when I do this, I always just slightly get the screws in. Now the drawer slides. Pay attention, because there's something coming up you need to know. Here I am putting them in, tightening them all down, making sure they're all secure, making sure everything's good. And I'm doing exactly what I missed in the directions that it told me not to do. So I got them all in there, and now I'm gonna put this back brace on. Back brace is on. Now you'll notice odd, when I go to pick this thing up, I'll say, gee, why does this back brace move up and down? So I'm gonna put the wheels on, screw those down, and it's really neat, I hand tighten them, and then they have this really cool wrench that actually makes the wheel turn. It's designed that way, it's slick. Watch this, reading the directions, did I lose my place, am I good? Okay, okay, uh -huh, what's that? Oh, it must be okay, remember that moment. So I turn it over and read the directions, and I start laying out all the drawer parts. Remember, this thing has drawers and they're awesome. I have all the parts, everything's good. Okay, let's sort them all out, make sure we have both drawers. I screw it all together, screw on the side panels. Cool, drop in the bottom, that's awesome. Has little labels pointing to front and top so you know what you're doing. Except, I come along and I put the back in. Hey, that's great. And then I realize, no, I didn't follow the directions or watch those, so I replace it and start over again. Here's the next drawer. Uh, I put it together, and this time I pay attention to the little labels, which say up and front of desk and slides and how they go together. Put in the uh, bottom panel again. I screw everything down. There's a lot of screws on this. Uh, by the way, the screwdriver is awesome. They ship it to you with it. It's magnetic, and all the screws just stick right to it. So this time I'm putting the back in the door correctly, and there we go. Looking over the directions, it's time to put in the drawers. Now pay attention here. Oh, this is really hard. Doesn't go in. Can't figure it out. And all of a sudden I realize in the directions they told me not to tighten the drawer slides on the bottom down because the drawers won't go in. So I had to unloosen them all. Then the drawers went in fine and slid and then retighten them all back up. So here I am. I put the little pads in the drawer which are really cool. And uh, check it out. Sit on a table. Man, that thing is sturdy. Check it out, turn it around. Yep, it rolls well, life is good. Turn it back around, um, pretty cool. Except, I got a wrench. That's where I'm putting all my trash in and I have this extra set of screws. And I go, what's going on? 
I'm not sure what's happening. So I look at the directions and realize that I missed something. Take everything off, flip the thing over, take the back wheels back off with the nifty difty little wrench, flip it over, aha, that's where the screws go. I uh, go down, wrench these things back up, put the wheels back on again with our nifty little wheel wrench, turn it back over, place the pads in the middle and die. So as you can see, here's the top view. I have these two little boxes here. Um, I will actually be reviewing these if they turn out to be good. The uh, manufacturer sent me these two lav mics and I told them, hey, uh, I don't review things that I don't like and they went, okay, well, we're gonna send you to them. Uh, don't review them if you don't like them. And so I got these two. One is a, has a battery on it. The other doesn't. Stony Edge. Lifetime of free microphone windscreens. Um, it's all packaged up and everything. Anyway, I will be doing a review of this. Another reason why I wanted a table like this is because um, you can see the top view and I can cover these things and what they're like. And uh, I really like this thing a lot, as you may have guessed. It, there's a difference, black or white, there's still a difference between the top and the item that I'm gonna be covering. Um, it looks good and yeah. I know this may seem expensive, but I love this thing. It's sturdy, the exact height I need it, and fulfills everything I wanted in a demonstration table for this channel. And as I said, if you don't like it, you can always use it as a bitchin' workbench in your garage. I've put a link in the description below. I hope that helps, at least someone watching and wanting a table like this. And thanks for watching. Absolutely, positively, 100% sturdy.